Hi there traders, this is Steve Miley for FX Explained and our weekly macro watch production in here. A video going through the major geopolitical, central bank, macroeconomic and microeconomic events that have impacted on the major financial markets and asset classes throughout the past week and then looking into the week commencing the 27th January 2020. Well, those Middle East tensions that started 2020 in the US Sino trade war that had impacted markets throughout 2019 now seem a distant memory uh, with the signing of the US trade, US China phase one trade deal and also the de-escalation in the Middle East. But we now have another geopolitical threat impacting markets, which is from the spreading of the Wuhan coronavirus. That has certainly seen a significant impact on markets, although markets are unsure about how to um, and take this uh, news in here initially with very choppy markets in here, markets undecided, particularly on the equity side, we did see a significant sell off in the US equity markets with Asian markets significantly lower throughout last week. European equity markets also vulnerable. But as we see here on the S&P 500 e-mini future, a double top pattern in here signaling a potentially more negative tone, a very weak end to the uh, trading week on Friday with a significant sell off for the U major US equity averages. That has also seen bond yields going significantly lower, bonds rallying in here as a safe haven. So bond prices higher, bonds rallying, US Treasury bonds, global bond markets in here rallying to new low yields, multi-month low yield levels in here. And we've also seen a notable sell-off in the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. In fact, the Japanese yen rallying against most currencies with the Japanese yen having a safe haven status. So those have all been significant market reactions to the threat from the Wuhan coronavirus and the concerns regarding the potential impacts on the global economic outlook going into 2020. We've also had earnings season continuing to come through from the US and globally in here throughout this week. Earnings season has continued to be uh, present uh, broadly positive results, but the impact of this Wuhan coronavirus has certainly overshadowed that going into this week, go, overshadowing those positive earnings results that we're getting from the major cor corporates globally and in the US. We also had the ECB this week, the European Central Bank. They continue to portray a still very dovish tone, which saw the euro break lower against the dollar and other currencies in here, with euro dollar taking out an important level at 110.65. Elsewhere, the pound has actually been ticking higher, even though um, we've had the been in the position um, through January of a growing expectation for a potential rate cut. Um, we do have the Bank of England um, meeting this week on Thursday. The pound has actually been pushing higher as we've seen improvements in some of the macroeconomic data from the US over the past week, which has eased expectations for a rate cut potentially this week from the Bank of England. The US impeachment trial of Donald Trump has begun in the Senate, but again, little market impact in here, as is expected the Republicans will not vote to remove the president. OK, so what we're expecting now from the week ahead, that's our recap. Let's take a look at the week ahead commencing the 27th of January. Well, clearly the main geopolitical focus this week is going to be on updates regarding the spread of and dangers from the Wuhan coronavirus. That's going to be very much on the agenda going into this week. Just to point out as well, Chinese markets are closed all week for the Chinese New Year holidays. Happy New Year for, to our Chinese viewers and readers. Um, so the year of the rat in here, but markets closed all week, which could then exacerbate any kind of negativity uh, potentially from uh, the Wuhan coronavirus. Going into this week, we have the Fed on Wednesday. No rate change expected in here, but all eyes are going to be on the statement on Wednesday evening from the Fed. And then on Thursday, as mentioned, the Bank of England um, MPC, the Monetary Policy Committee decision, interest rate. Um, rate cut in here, potential, um, but slightly fading chances of that. But we do see potential for an interest rate cut from the Bank of England. So we're going to be certainly watching that this week. Earnings seasons continue and we've got a whole um, batch of earnings, particularly coming here from the US. Nothing of note on Monday, but we have Pfizer, United Technologies, Lockheed Martin, Starbucks, um, 3M and Louis Vuitton on Tuesday. Facebook, Boeing, GE, Tesla on, on Wednesday, 
Amazon, Verizon on Thursday, Exxon Mobil, Chevron and Caterpillar all on Friday. So a busy earnings season, particularly out of the US. So we certainly would we'll be watching for those. And then we also have the ongoing um, impeachment trial. We'll be monitoring that just in case we get any kind of um, significant turn of events. And on the macroeconomic data, just to remind you, Chinese markets closed all weeks for the New Year holiday. We have German IFO Monday, US Capital Goods Orders and Consumer Confidence Tuesday. Australian Consumer Price Index on on Wednesday. And then remember, we have the US Fed and the interest rate decision later in the day Wednesday. Bank of England decision Thursday with German unemployment, German CPI and US GDP data. And then Friday, we end the week with Japanese CPI, Eurozone GDP, Canadian GDP, and then the US core PCE data to end off the week. I'm going to wish you traders all a great trading week. This has been our Macro Watch recap and outlook, and I'll be back with you soon. Don't forget to follow us on our YouTube channel. So traders, don't forget to catch us on the next FX Explained Macro Watch and all the great content on fxexplained.co.uk.